I don't know. Whew, this can probably get pretty interesting. So amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. What is really on Fokio's and Fokoramas? I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you or someone has been subscribed to my channel for a long time, double check to make sure that you are. But if you are fairly new to the channel, get an idea of what this channel is about. What do you do? Go to my channel, click on playlist. All these different things I do on this channel. See all these different thumbnails? Those are all different categories of things that I do on this channel, from comedy to cooking to DIY when it comes to fixing cars. There's a lot of things I do on this channel. So check the channel out in its entirety before you subscribe. I'm pretty sure you'll find something on here that you like. What is going on, folks and folk of the Ramas? Welcome to the channel. I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. And you guys are watching the news portion of my channel. How are you guys doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you guys are all having a good day. Welcome to the channel. Do everything I told you to do in the intro of this video. And also for the ones that would like to support the channel on a financial level, just go to patreon.com forward slash modern renaissance man. You just pay in $1 a month to support the channel. $12 a year, that's all. If you do, great. If you don't, great. Make sure you follow me on these other platforms right here. And I'm also on TikTok. <laughs> it's right there, duh, Ty. I'm also on X slash Twitter as a real Ty Smith, and I'm also on Rumble as Modern Renaissance Man Variety. So go check me out on those platforms and be sure to follow me on all of those. Let somebody in your phone contact list know about this channel as well if you think they would benefit from watching it. All right, so if y'all don't know this, Texas at the border had brought in the National Guard to make sure that the illegals won't get in. And they were making arrests and everything, doing what they should be doing. Kick the federal agents out. Well, it went to the Supreme Court, and unfortunately, the Supreme Court ruled five to four for them to remove it and have the feds come back in and uh, remove the fencing, remove the barbed wire, all that stuff. And interesting enough, and sadly enough, according to a lot of conservatives, two of the people that are on the Supreme Court ruled in favor of removing the barbed wire. One of them being Trump appointed Amy Comey Barrett. Y'all remember her? Yeah. So it upset a whole lot of conservatives across the nation about this whole deal, about her doing it. And here's the thing, and I'll bring you guys along with it, make sure I have the uh, story up there. Some of y'all like to have the story read to you. Who is this guy? No, I'm just kidding. Yesterday, the Supreme Court ruled that the federal government can remove the razor wire elect, erected, uh, <laughs> erected on U.S.-Mexico border by Texas law enforcement, which the government argued illegally prevented them from managing the border. The 5-4 to four decision vacated on the appeals court ruling last month that allowed the wire to stay amid and continued legal standoff over border jurisdiction. Chief Justice, Rob, uh, Chief Justice Roberts led the majority alongside Justice Sonia Sotomayor, Elena Kagan, Amy Comey Berry, and Kajinta Jackson. I mean, Kajinta. K Kent. Woman, what's your name? Katanji Brown Jackson. You know the lady who don't know what a woman is. Um, the conflict over the border escalated earlier this month when the Texas National Guard and the Texas Department, I told y'all all that, and they said it again became more dire three months uh, after three migrants, a woman and two children drowned in the Rio just outside the park with the Border Patrol officials claiming the members of the Texas National Guard prevented the federal officials from accessing the river and saving them. There was a lot of controversy over that, y'all. I don't, you don't want nobody to lose their lives or anything like that. But at the same time, you're a mother and you see these people saying, hey, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And you try to come across anyway. You put your life at risk along with your children. All right, so... The reason why I'm talking about this particular story, though, folks, is because we all know what happened with the Supreme Court and their ruling, right? Now, though, here's the thing. Y'all, this is crazy. What it is is that there's a congressman, I think it's Chip Roy. He is pretty much telling the uh, the people in Texas to, uh, he's telling them to ignore what the Supreme Court said. And But the thing is, I want to find it for y'all, though. Anyway. Chip Roy is telling the people to forget what the Supreme Court is saying when it comes to that wire and fence. So I guess he wants the National Guard and urging them to, nope, continue to do it. It's almost like he said, forget what the Supreme Court is saying. But guys, I, I, I'm sorry, y'all. Make sure y'all hit that like button if you're in here right now. I really want to have this story for you guys. 
This is wild. We stand. Give me a second here, folks. If you hit that like button, I appreciate it. I know you guys are in here probably doing some little, little bit of chit-chatting off to the side. Or I don't know, this might not be a, I might make this video just a, you know, one of the basic videos that uh that I just play. I might not make it a premiere because uh, I don't want to waste your time on this whole deal right there. But I'm trying to figure out where is it at. I mean, this is really, really strange that they're not letting me pull this up. Maybe I can go over, uh, okay, I'm reading something right here, okay? But it won't let me pull it up for some reason. The state of Texas under Governor Abbott, Operation Lone Star, will maintain its current posture in deterring illegal border crossing by utilizing effective border security measures, reinforce, uh, you know, barbed wire, anti-clip barriers along the Rio Grande. The logical concern should be why the federal government continues to hinder Texas' ability to protect its borders, all while allowing the exportation and dangerous of inhumane methods of preventing illegal immigration, including children to illegally cross dangerous river water and may have lost their lives. Texas is the only state using every strategy and resource to protect its sovereignty, combat criminal activity, and discourage illegal immigration. And again, folks, that's pretty much what this is coming down to is that this guy, I'm just going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to waste no more time on this. So Republican Congressman calls for Texas to ignore the Supreme court ruling because Biden is staging a civil war is pretty much what I want to get at. And here's the thing. That's been something that's been kind of circulating around for a long time. Like everything that's going on right now, all the policies, things are put in place, the, the division amongst us with people, uh, Based, you know, they're trying to divide us on color. They're trying to divide us on sexuality, divide us on what should be taught in school, trying to take the rights away from the parents down the southern border. And now you got things going on in Chicago. They think it's just going to be this all out eruption of folks just going to say, you know what? If the government don't want to take care of it, we the people going to take care of it. I for I do not want to see that. I, I don't. But boy, would that make a statement of Americans, real patriots of Americans. So you know what? Screw it. We done. We getting ready to do this. It's way more of us than it's, and it is of anybody in government or anyone that's in the uh, FBI. It's way more normal, patriotic Americans out there. That's what people are thinking is going to come to because a lot of folks been sending me emails, things like that. Y'all threw in Bible verses and everything. Y'all, boy, look, listen, y'all. You can't sit there and take the world events and try to apply it as if this is the thing that the Bible was talking about. Ever since I was even in church at the age of ripe 13, 14 years old, you guys have been using any event that happened from Y2K and everything as an event to say this is what happened. This is prophesied in the Bible. That mean because Jesus is about to come back and take over. Y'all got to stop with all that. Things been happening in this world for the longest. And just because you're seeing more of it happening in the world because everybody has a phone and everybody's uploading it on social media does not mean that that's an indication that God is about to come back and just completely just, you know. So anyway, my point is saying is this. People are thinking it's going to be a civil war over this mess. I don't know. I don't want to. I'm going to say it. I would like to see what would happen if Texas decide, you know what? Screw what the Supreme Court said. We protecting our borders. We don't care what the Supreme Court said. Is this the whole part of the Constitution? You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm just saying, folks. I'm not a, I'm not a big old giant constitutionalist to know it like the back of my head. I know enough about it. I'm just saying, is this some shape, form, or fashion of? We don't care what the Supreme Court said. As Americans, we've always kind of rebelled against if we didn't think that what the government doing or the current power at B is doing. No. What will happen if Texas decided to continuously do what they, what if Governor Abbott continue to defy what the Supreme Court stated? What can happen? I don't know. People are saying things like now they want to get it to where they want to make each individual state its own thing, their own rules, their own Supreme Court, not having nothing to do with our main Supreme Court. I don't know. I'm just saying it'd be really interesting. So we're going to see how this thing plays out. Do you think they're going to abide by the Supreme Court? Do you think Governor Abbott going to just cave to it and allow it to still happen, allow people to still flood into the country. Why do you think the two conservative people on the Supreme Court uh, went ahead and went along with this? What makes you, what, 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 what's the reason behind that? Is it because it is inhumane? Do you think that they might be bought? We don't know. I don't know. Maybe y'all know something that I don't. And if you do, let me hear about it in the comment section below after this video, all right? Y'all think it's going to come out to be a civil war? Let me hear it. I don't care if you think it is or you don't think it is. 
don't be afraid. If you really think it's going to come out into a civil war or something like that, I just want to hear what your thoughts is on it. Leave it in the comment section below after this video, all right? Don't forget, look in your cell phone, you guys. Look in your cell phone. There's somebody in your contact list that you know that can benefit from this channel. Let them know about the channel. Tell them to subscribe. I appreciate it if you did that. That's one of the best things you can do for this channel. Hit that like button before y'all get out of here, all right? I am Ty Smith, Model Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing, and most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also, right here, is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But like right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny, it can be something serious. It does not matter, but this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel. Cause I do a lot in this channel, all right? So again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it, keep on supporting it, and God bless you all.